Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here I have these three equations for you guys, and they all involve natural logs. Hmm. The way to solve them are slightly different though, so if you would like, of course, please pause the video and try them first. Right? And Babam is right here. He is watching us. So we better do this right. Yeah, I feel the pressure. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the first one first x to the natural log of x power that's equal to 2. What shall we do? Hmm. Well, the deal is that I'm just going to take the natural log on both sides, even though it has the natural log already. But if we take the natural log, you will see we can put the power to the front, so we get natural log of x. And then the base right here is still natural log, so we multiply by another natural log. And then this right here is natural log of 2, like that, yeah? And you see, this right here we can just multiply, and that becomes natural log of x squared, that's equal to natural log of 2. And then right here, we can just take the square root on both sides, but be sure you have the plus or minus, and then you can just do e to the power on both sides. In the end, you will get x is equal to, the first answer is e to the power of positive, but again, you have to do the square root, and you put this inside, which is natural log of 2. And if you use a calculator, I will tell you, that's a really bad approximation, I'm sorry. If you use a calculator, I will tell you, this is approximately 2.29918, like that. Yeah, I'm looking at the answer over here. But anyway though, if you have the other one, namely x equals e to the negative square root of natural log of 2. This right here is approximately, let's see, 0 0.3, sorry, 43494. So 0 0.43494, like this. All right, not so bad. One thing to notice is that there's not really like a way you can simplify this, right? We'll just leave it like that, e to the square root of ln2 power, like that. Okay, good. Now, for the next one, pay close attention right here. Do you think that we should take the natural log right now? Mm, I don't know, up to you. If you take the natural log, you see this is x times natural log of x is equal to 2. It might be a different story, huh? Well, here, this is how we are going to do it. Have a look. We have the x right here, right? What we are going to do is, we can look at the x as e to the natural log of x power, yeah? And then notice that we still have this natural log of x that's multiplying with this, which I will just put that in the front, like that. And now this is actually very beautiful because we can use what we call the Lambert W function to help us with that. So you see, this right here is equal to 2, that's great. And then I'm just going to use the blue marker right here. I'm just going to take the Lambert W function on both sides. And when we do that, we'll just end up with whatever this is. We'll end up with just natural log of x, and this is equal to W of 2, like this. And you might be wondering, what's the value for W of 2? Well, you will have to use Wolfram Alpha or Mathematica. But anyway, though, we're not done yet because in the end, we still have to isolate the x. So again, we just do e to the power, e to the power. In the end, we get x is equal to e to the w of 2 power. And I will tell you, this is approximately 2.34. 234. Yes, it's 5. The next one is 7. Anyway, what shall we do right here? We should take the natural log first, right? Well, let me just do that. Natural log here, and then natural log here. Although here we have something crazy, but we can break it apart pretty nicely. Just have a look. First, just like what we did over there, we can bring the natural log to the front, and then we end up with natural log of x times this right here is another one, right? So it's similar to that. Great. And then right here, we have a product inside of the natural log. So we can just write it as the natural log of x plus 
the natural log the natural log of the natural log so man this is like a double natural log like this which is pretty crazy it's not so bad though because if you look at this part right here I can write that as natural log of x and then square so that's pretty good and let me move this to the other side so I will say minus natural log of x and then this is equal to natural log of the inside we have that natural log like that this is actually pretty good now this is how I'm going to approach this because look at this you can treat this as an equation in terms of natural log so I will just say let u because I like u I like you guys so let u equal to natural log of x then we'll see this becomes u squared minus u and that's equal to natural log of u like that and now how can we solve this though well this right here is not so bad at all because the answer is pretty nice however if you have let's say a 2 right here then actually I don't know what to do with that hopefully you are okay with the solution that I'm about, pre um, that I'm about to present um, yeah anyway I'm gonna do it all right look at the left hand side so if you grab this this right here is just a parabola so it's not so bad well if you make this equal to zero you will see that the curve is going to be like this and right here this is zero and this is one right and then the curve will just look like this which is just a nice parabola for u squared minus u if this is the u axis okay perfect well how would you graph natural log of u when u is equal to one we know natural log of one is equal to zero so for natural log it will look like this and technically they actually just have this intersection here you can clearly see right here when u is equal to one we have a solution so I'll just say solution when u is equal to one yeah but how would you know that they don't intersect right here or right here well first when u is bigger than one you can see that the curve is actually going up and then this right here will go up a lot faster than the natural log so they will never cross each other anymore all right and secondly what you can really do is you can differentiate this and you can differentiate that you will actually see the derivative of this and the derivative of that are actually the same they are both equal to one when u is equal to one so the cool part is that not only they touch each other right here but also they are tangent at each other right here right so I think that's a good enough explanation already and then you can also argue by the graph that they will not uh, intersect anymore and depends on how rigorous you want to get but again just trust me if you would like u is equal to 1 in fact it's the only solution right so this is the only solution right here I'll just tell you only solution so what does that mean that means we have to have ln x to be equal to 1 which implies x has to be equal to e very cool the truth is if you look at the graph of x to the ln x power and also x times ln x they will intercept only one time when x is equal to e and you know this right here technically needs no introduction but I'll put this down the approximation anyway 2.71828 and so on so on so on all right so hopefully you guys all like this and let me know which equation is your favorite hopefully you guys all like this and i'll see you guys in the next video bye